<laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. They were cool. Grenade launchers. Incredibly cool. It's even cooler that you can own them. Nothing like an M4 with an M203 on it, but you know what's even cooler? Grenade launcher pistol. The question is, is it a grenade launcher or is it a pistol? I'm not really quite sure, but today on Grantham, we're gonna find out. If you've ever wanted to fire a grenade launcher like a pistol, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys, like and comment. Comment section is out of control. This video is sponsored by Simply Safe. A big shout out to them, of course. Big Daddy Limited is a big sponsor as well. Check them out. It's the Costco of the gun world. Is it worth it? Are you worth it? Ultimately, it depends on if you're buying things or not. Other sponsors of this particular video, we have the Sonoran Desert Institute if you want to learn about guns, and of course, Ace Link Armor. Check them out, guys. All right, let's get into this. So, we have right here a M203. Now, there are a lot of different types of grenade launchers out there if you want to learn more, check out the other video. But here we have the M203 in a shortened version. It runs into some problems, but let's get into it for a second here. So this is a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. So it is meant to take your 40 millimeter shells. There are a lot of different shells out there that it will take. But before we get into it, let's see how it fires. So before we fire our first round, we have to note that we do have the FEL here. So, uh, you know, we have our licensee here as far as using these. A quick note, there should be no restrictions on these types of weapons because, you know, back in the day, Americans owned privateers. So if I want to own a privateer, I should be able to own a privateer just like you should be able to own a grenade launcher. But in any case, let's fire that first round off. Question is, do you fire it like a handgun? Do you fire it like a grenade launcher? I, I really don't know. We'll take a close shot with this first one. Little Cheeto just dust right there. So, if you want to come take a look at this as far as how this works. So we have this standalone rail right here that it's attached to. And how it kind of went down is the receiver right here is what everything's attached to. With a receiver, you can have a longer barrel. So if it's come take a look right here, this is a barrel mounted receiver for like an M4 platform, but it can fit a variety of barrel lengths. So this is a normal 12 inch. You of course have the nine inch, which is what a lot of people use. And then right here we have the shorty, which is a seven inch tube. And the problem you're gonna run into with using a shorter tube is of course, distance and velocity. You're going to lose a lot of velocity on these 40 millimeter rounds when you go down to a seven inch tube. So something to think about. But coming over here, kind of show you how it works and everything. So we have our seven inch tube, nice little nub there at the end to ensure that we, our hand doesn't slip past and you know, get in front of the barrel or anything crazy like that. It is ribbed for my pleasure. We have the release right here. So that allows you to open it up. You can load the round. A quick note is when you're using your chalk rounds, um, they are a little bit fragile. So if you load one in, you try to unload it, a lot of times that thing will cut up, you know, come out and you'll have Cheeto dust anywhere. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. But coming back over to here, uh, we have our safety right here. So this is in the cock position, so you're able to put that safety on. That's your safety right there. Pop your safety off. Of course, we have our trigger and we have a grip. Now, with these particular standalone launchers right here, because it is a Picatinny mounted, so it just mounts to the picket and you can attach a stock or anything like that. But, you know, why have a stock? Why not just have a grenade launcher pistol? So we'll come over here, we'll screw with it a little bit. 40 millimeter grenade launchers are, are pretty interesting in my opinion because, you know, a 40 millimeter is a lot like a shotgun. Uh, there's a lot of purpose built rounds for it. You can get a lot of stuff for it. You get to do a lot of different things. And I think that's what makes the 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter, a very interesting kind of platform. But unfortunately, there's a lot of restrictions on what you can get right now. HEs, again, the secret ingredient to getting HEs is crime. So for now, most people just can't get them. But to show you kind of some more impact stuff, we'll get a little bit closer and uh, we'll point blank a couple targets. Now, it should be noted that with the 40 millimeter, 
that if you have an HE round, depending on the type of HE round, you're looking at an arming distance. That means that if you fire these point blank, they're not gonna detonate point blank. They have to do a certain amount of rotations and overcome a spring before that round arms itself. For most rounds nowadays, you're looking at about 15 meters or so. For certain rounds, you do have shorter distances, about two to three, but realize that there is a frag range of around five meters, so probably wanna be careful about how close you're firing it to yourself. You know, we have the uh, red dot on there, but depending on how close you're firing and how much, you know, how far away it is, it could be a little dicey. So we're gonna do what every Grenadier recommends, which is just kinda eyeball that bitch. See if we can get it. That was a dead miss. Good times. We definitely have to take another one right there. Looks like it goes off to the left right there. Let's see if we try it like a pistol. <laughs> this is so stupid. What are we doing? So. Quite a bit of fun to fire these different types of rounds. Uh, we're firing mostly chalk right now. Um, I don't know if chalk is deadly. I don't think I'd want to get hit by one though. But what's fun about this is, you know, what kind of legality does it fall under? I'm pretty sure it falls under destructive weapon, but I'd like to imagine that somewhere out there, we have a guy just concealed carrying this dirty little pirate hooker gun. You dirty, smelly pirate hooker. <sighs> <laughs> Let's check out some other rounds. Um, there's a question of, you know, what am I carrying on here? Am I carrying uh, white claws? No, we're carrying some CS gas rounds and that type of thing. But let's see what we got here. So right here we have a 40 millimeter OC barricade projectile. I'm reasonably certain that this should punch through automobile glass. Not sure, let's find out. I don't know, what do you want to call this, a hooker mobile? Something like sex, that. Sex wagon. Yeah, sex wagon. So it's uh, it's not doing that great. And you know, the windshield's in pretty good shape. So we're gonna see what this uh, barricade projectile can do. Reasonably certain that it will probably get through. But uh, how will we know without testing it? What? Yeah, that went through. like <laughs> fortunately there's a lot of holes i'm pretty sure one of these two right there that smoked straight through though science question is we have a couple other rounds uh it's like musical chairs i don't know what i'm gonna get next uh we'll try this one out what do we got right here oh okay this guy right here is an impact cs round so that should uh give off that good CS gas. This is what makes the 40 millimeter so amazing, is your ability to use different rounds. Let me step back for this one. Yeah. The car though? The car, shoot the car? Yeah, shoot the car. Yeah, shoot the car for sure. Uh, should we broadside the card? The car, should we sh shoot a broadside? Yeah. Yeah, we should. So, what's gonna happen? I don't know. Science will be our muse today. Hopefully I fucking hit it. It's really dicey trying to aim this thing. You ready? Yeah. Oh, dude, that was like, no recoil, that was... Okay, so we have our Riot CS Smoke multi-projectile. This is a fairly popular round right here. Um, there's really not like a whole lot of space for it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna Fire it right into this ditch right here. Let's see what happens. Or should we fire into the car? I can't decide. I feel like the car deserves it. Car deserves yep. it. Yep, car deserves it. Dude, my sinuses are going from that CS. Does not feel great. All right. Ready? Yep. Oh! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh. 
I can see a smoke. It felt just like, oh my god, dude. Look at my eyes. It feels like basic training. You know, 40 millimeter, it's pretty cool. If you're in this car, probably wouldn't be very safe. Speaking of safe, this video is sponsored by Simply Safe. Simply Safe is a home security system. I like it quite a bit. It allows me to add security where I need it, you know, whether it be video cameras or entry sensors and kind of that onion peel that you make of security in your house. And it's for that reason, I like it quite a bit. You don't have to buy it all at once. You can buy things piecemeal one at a time and you can add that extra security as you need it, um, you know, wherever you want. So if you have uh, certain firearms in a room with a safe, you can add more security to that particular room. So that reason I like it, big thank you to them for sponsoring this channel. Go check them out. My eyes are on fire and my nose is on fire, but it was worth it because we wanted to see how bad that CS gas was, so we ran into it. And as you can see from the video, we suffered. Feels just like basic training. Good flashback. Uh, my camera guy's eyes are burning, mine are. But anything for you. All right, let's test some other stuff out. So right here, we have a foam training round. So these are easily reloadable and allow you to practice quite a bit for, so for, you know, if you're able to have an M203, then this makes it easier to work with an M203. So we're gonna test it out. Right at the car again. Ready? Yep. Oh! <laughs> Where did she fall? Where'd she go? She uh she ricocheted straight over. That was awesome. Try some long distance shots here. So when it comes to an M203, there are various ways to aim it. We have aiming ladders, optics, but especially with a very short barreled M203 like we have right here. You know, unfortunately you just kinda gotta kinda judge the distance. So I got yelled at by Travis about this. He was like, just you know, feel it. And you know, if you think about Luke Skywalker going down the Death Star trench run, the target computer, the targeting computer did him no good. So I'm gonna use force and try to hit some stuff with this. Right. Actually, I think I'm gonna hit that seal target. I'm pretty sure I can get it. Cause that was just over the top. So I think I have what I need to do to get that. Damn. <laughs> so, we come over here. Uh, there's a couple different products I'm using today. So we've got the uh, Haley Strategic Hanger right here. And then we have the uh, the belt to hold all the 40 millimeter rounds. There's a bunch of different ways to, uh, to do it. Guys that I've talked to have typically done the belt, uh, a couple belts uh, in their pack or something like that. You know, something to think about. So, We've got our dummy right here, and um, it's pretty messed up already. I think the question is, what is a chalk round gonna do at near point blank? I don't know. Let's find out. He took it, no problem. What? He's fine. Who could have thought? He took that no problem. That was easy. Yeah. You think if I hit like a little higher up, it's gonna knock him over? Yeah, do it. So. You know, that guy's tough. <laughs> the thing about a truck round is you can't always trust it. These do have a tendency to explode uh, when fired, especially for my military guys, you kind of know. Which leads to the saying, it's not easy being cheesy. Straight through. So when we're having a caliber debate, the question is, what caliber is best? 40 millimeter, obviously. <laughs> what will a 40 millimeter do when it impacts water? Today on Grantham. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. I think the, the zinc, the plate behind it kind of ricocheted out. Looks like we got the nice chalk in there. We've uh, done some 
glorious kind of modern art to this particular uh, lake right here. But here's a bigger question. When we're firing this, what is the most comfortable way to fire it? We're gonna go find out. What is the easiest way to fire a grenade launcher pistol? It's a good question. So, you know, we have the, the pistol, right? We have two fingers forward, just like a regular handgun. Got the one-handed pirate stance, got the two-handed, and of course Rambo. Today we're gonna find out. So, starting off with one-handed. That was awesome. <laughs> Did you see that? I was on your side. But yeah, that was freaking yeah, was cool. Nuts. Okay, so one-handed felt pretty good. The recoil on the M203 really isn't that bad. Um, a lot of guys are used to firing it like on a launcher, but for some of these new guys nowadays with the 320, which is a great launcher, um, most guys are firing one-handed. It's really quite simple. So we'll try firing it like a pistol and see how that works. That actually felt pretty good. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll try out the kind of more rifle technique. That one was probably the easiest to handle. And finally, the Rambo. I love 40 millimeters so much. <laughs> so awesome. Uh, you know, we're just kind of experimenting right here, but the question is, you know, are these rounds ricocheting? They pretty much are, it's kind of interesting. We'll go and we'll skip that. Uh, a lot of different, less lethal rounds from the 40 millimeter uh, do require you to skip them. So it is something that you can do and you can kind of see it right here. You ready? Yep. Pretty sure that would be lethal, but you know, for a less lethal round, it should be uh, <laughs> should be okay. Let's do one more. Hit, uh, uh, hit steel. Hit steel. Hit, uh, you want to ricochet off? Five hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? Five hundred dollars if you hit that 500? steel. Five hundred. Okay, hold on. You ready? Yep. Damn it! All right, I'm gonna shoot the car with chalk because it deserves it. What? We should hit steel. Maybe yeah. Hit steel. Yeah, let's hit steel. I want to hear it. All right, we'll try steel. That's gonna be difficult. <laughs> we have the uh, foam baton. So uh, it's one of your uh, less lethal rounds. So it really shouldn't be uh, that bad. Or it depends on the distance, you know, under the minimum safety distance, it's gonna be pretty bad. We should shoot this on paper. Foam baton round, less lethal. Uh, this guy was super tough last time. So we're gonna see how that works. Ooh, that wasn't too bad. I'd take that. Yeah. It probably hurt a lot. It's good enough to go to work. We're gonna step back so you can see the range of the M203. You know, 40 millimeter out of a 12 inch tube will do about 250, that's why I feel comfortable. I think you can go to about 400 plus, but um, you know, it's gonna be very difficult to hit a target. My longest impact with a 203 was at 130 yards on steel, um, difficult to do. But as you can see, these do have a lot of power behind them when you launch them. So we're gonna show the approximate distance these 40 millimeters can go even out of a short barrel. So we're about 110 yards right here. Let's go ahead and see. Ready? Yep. Pretty cool. They got some distance on them. We'll do one last one. Closing thoughts. Let's see if we can hit that berm right there. Nice. Yeah, they're pretty accurate. Uh, you know, 40 millimeters have always been kind of a, uh, a thing I've loved. Um, this particular one is from LMT. Lots of different manufacturers on your uh, grenade launchers. But the thing about it is if you're going to use one of these, it doesn't matter how cool it is or how effective or ineffective it is. What is really important is training. 
make sure that you get training. There are tons of different places to get training. Haley Strategic, Bear Solutions, Tony Cowden, Cogworks. Make sure you get that training. Make yourself the weapon. 40 millimeters rock and they should not be regulated. Make sure you stay safe out there, guys. I've got nothing else for you. Final thing for you guys. Um, I'm going to say it once again. But make sure that you get out there sometime this week and you do a random act of kindness. It doesn't have to be to someone you know or don't know, whether that just be you simply complimenting somebody. Do something nice. There should be more kindness and niceness in this world. So let's make it a better place one at a time. If you guys have gotten this far, you know what we're going to recommend. That is Survival Dispatch. Survival Dispatch being a repository of survival information. Go ahead and check them out. Final shout out to Patreon people. Thank you for supporting the channel. Love you guys. We've got nothing else for you.